Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Dossier Den, something we haven't done in quite a while because the dossiers have been few and far in between, but today the Otter Dossier has come out. And before we jump into this, I just want to let you guys know in terms of where Ark's been, I've just been putting it aside a little bit because Ark is fully coming out later this month. We're going to be diving back into it when it does fully come out and this is why, I don't know, it was a pleasant surprise that they're still releasing dossiers so close to launch and from what they were saying on Twitter or somewhere on the blog I forget exactly where it does appear that the Ark devs are going to continue releasing new dinosaurs new content after launch they're probably gonna do some more stuff like scorched earth but also more free updates so that's awesome news because scorched earth even though it did cost money it was an awesome expansion in my mind because it added so much but shenanigans aside, let's go ahead and talk about the otter, which is today's topic. So to begin with, the otter is going to be an omnivore and relatively friendly creature that you're going to be able to find in the waterways of the island. So pretty much stuff like rivers, maybe lakes and stuff like that, too. And it's going to be a very good hunter and forager, which to me makes it seem like he's going to be very good at collecting fish and also collecting berries on land, which is pretty cool. But from what the dossier is saying, he's not really going to be the best fighter in the world, so you best leave him out of your raids unless you want to be known as the guy who raids everyone with an army of otters <laughs> they're gonna be pretty easy to find in rivers and maybe from what it's saying it says that they're hunted for their lustrous fur so that makes me think either maybe they'll drop like pelts which you'll need to you know make your clothing for the uh, snow biome or maybe they'll have some kind of new fur that'll have a new use who knows speaking of uses that the otter will have it is going to be tameable so it will definitely have some to a lot of you tamers out there especially because it rides on your back now the way they say this it rides on your back this makes me think that maybe he'll be able to like have an otter and another dino on your shoulder but also kind of maybe not because in the picture of the dossier you can see he rides on the shoulder even though dossier says he rides on your back so i don't know but i thought maybe that wording was cool and maybe hinting towards that but that's definitely little bit of a pipe dream but it would be something super cool to see now when he is on your shoulder slash back he's gonna be able to be go told to go and harvest fish so he kind of sounds like that one bird that does the same but the ability it can could not be more different okay it's not gonna turn the meat at least it doesn't say it will but it's not gonna turn the meat into like prime meat what it's gonna do is collect silica pearls from the fish that it harvests with a slight chance at actually finding black pearls and this is where i think this creature actually could be a pretty solid game changer like i'm not doing this as like oh star you're clickbaiting no black pearls are so important when you start getting to that high tech high tier stuff but for the most part they can only be found in the deep depths of the ocean i think this is a game changer because it's going to allow for at, like it's gonna make black pearls so much more easy access which is gonna make a lot of the higher tier stuff in arc also easy access a lot of that higher tier stuff being stuff that people have to grind for really hard and that's kind of one common complaint with arc is that so much of the cool stuff is like a whole grind away well this otter actually kind of could be a solution towards that so i think that's pretty cool and honestly in my opinion do think it will be a game changer in allowing people access to that end game stuff so i think the otter is gonna be pretty freaking and useful i'm definitely gonna try to tame one especially because from the looks of it maybe it'll even be a passive tame because he's a friendly uh friendly creature here so that might happen but i'm definitely gonna go out of my way and try to tame one of these early and uh, you know then just go ham on harvesting silica pearls and black pearls super easy wherever i am i don't need to be by silica pearl spawns i just gotta be by a river with fish or like a water body of water with fish to me that's gonna make life a lot easier and i love that and i'm gonna love to add the otter to our repertoire but let me know if you guys didn't go out of your way try to tame up one of these and what you're going to be doing with the otter i'm always open to hearing i always love to hear what you guys have to say about the different dinos and creatures we cover so i'm definitely excited to hear about what you think about the otter what's your opinion do you maybe disagree with me where oh star you're stupid it's not a game changer like star you bring up a valid point still not a game changer like star you're so right i don't think anyone's ever said i'm that right in my life though so that last option probably not happening that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the otter again a reminder we are gonna be returning to arc later this month when it does fully launch i've just been taking a break so when it does launch we're ready to go ham on it a little bit so make sure you keep your eyes out on that and i'm kind of excited to go ahead and hop back in arcs it's been a while i'm starting to get kind of like starting to starting to lust after it again like the lustrous fur of the otter that's gonna go ahead and wrap up for me i'm really just happy to hear though that there are gonna be no more dossiers more creatures because the dossier den is 
as uncommon of a series as it is, whenever a new dossier does come out, I still love making videos on it if I see that it does come out. See, I've missed some in the past just because, you know, usually I find out because I see it on Twitter, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So, yeah, if there, if, I ever, like, if ever a new dossier comes out, you guys can honestly, like, bug me in my comments and I'll be like, oh, there you go. Because common to what may, maybe other big YouTubers do. Although I'm not really a big YouTuber. Uh, yeah, I actually read comments. I love reading what you guys have to say. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for reals this time. Thank you a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.